Hello, friends of Skelevator. So, thank you so much for continuing to vote for me on the DIY Hero Contest. I really appreciate it. You've all gone above and beyond uh, voting for me on a daily basis. Uh, the link is right below for you to continue to do so. And uh, stick around. Okay, friends, uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, a while back, I mentioned that I was going to build the Matterhorn. Not the actual Matterhorn, but the Disneyland Matterhorn, a structure that I have been deeply fascinated by my whole life. I'm not sure exactly why, but I love this thing. I love the ride. I love the structure of it in the middle of the theme park. So when I first started doing this, I thought I'll, I'll make the sort of skeletal structure out of foam core. I abandoned that for chicken wire, which I decided to reinforce with plaster cloth, um, which is a much better solution if I want to get that sort of natural uh, structure or the natural shape to the mountain. Um, and I remembered that I needed to add some caverns, so I used my wire cutters to trim out some holes there. And uh, then I thought, well, I better, you know, add some spray foam as well to add some additional structure to the base of it. I really like working with spray foam because you can add a lot and then trim away, carve away at it. Um, and spray foam is easier to carve away than like traditional packaging styrofoam. It's uh, it, 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 and it has sort of an airy texture to it too. So it's a little bit different than insulation foam. But as you can see, I've got it, I've got it cut. I've got the, it trimmed away. I've got those caverns cut out. Um, and I'm ready to start adding the plaster cloth. Now the, uh, the type of plaster cloth that I use is Woodland Scenics. It's affordable. I usually order it through Amazon and it does the job. Now this first layer of plaster that I'm adding, which is DAP Plaster of Paris, um, is going to reinforce the plaster cloth, create a solid structure upon which I can add more detail. Um, and I wanna get my fright zone out of the way there so I, can, uh, so I can continue adding more plaster. So I had to get another, another box of that. So this, this altogether took about one and a half boxes of plaster and uh, I added some depth to the caverns, as you can see there. So I used some construction paper, and uh, here I am adding the rest of the, the sort of the, the second layer or the final detail layer of the plaster. <laughs> Okay, so I've got that second layer of plaster completed. It's evening now. I'm going to need to let this dry. The, like it's dry to the touch right now, but it's definitely gonna need about a week to dry, especially in this sort of early spring weather conditions here in California. And um, I wanted to give you some scale here. So I've got my Masterverse Stinkor and my Phantom Star Killer 3.75 inch reaction figure and my Mega Constructs Stinkor. And so this really, uh, for me, when, I, when, I, when I'm done with this and I start to take some toy photos with this, I think the uh, Mega Constructs size um, is gonna work really well for taking action figure photos. Although uh, the Mega Constructs or Lego size figures might actually be a little bit big for this. So I might have to pick up some of those world's smallest figures. 
Um, thanks so much for watching, folks. I really appreciate you always chiming in here. I appreciate your comments. I always try to answer them. And goodness, I'm almost up to 650 subscribers now, which is amazing. Um, and also, I really want to give you a sincere thank you for those of you who have been voting for me in the DIY Hero Contest. Um, please do continue to submit those daily votes and uh, do consider contributing to the American Lung Association and, and submit multiple votes for Ronald Zerigian slash Skelevator in the DIY Hero Contest. Um, thanks so much for being here, folks, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.